This video will guide you through your first flight with DJI Mini 2. Unbox DJI Mini 2. We're using the DJI Mini 2 Fly More Combo as an example, and take out the aircraft and its accessories. You can store spare propellers in the top pocket of the DJI Mini 2 shoulder bag. Users of the Mini 2 Fly More Combo can charge batteries with the two-way charging hub. Users that have bought the standalone version can simply use a USB charger and charge the battery. Insert the battery into the compartment. A clicking sound indicates the battery is fully engaged. Make sure that the battery is fully inserted and the battery compartment cover is securely in place. You can use a Type-C cable or the battery charging hub to charge an intelligent flight battery. The battery charging hub can serve as a power bank and connects to a mobile device via a USB cable. Remove the control sticks from their storage slots on the remote controller and screw them into place. Pull out the mobile device holder. The remote controller cable is stored in a slot built into the remote controller. One end of the cable is for connecting to the remote controller and the other end is for connecting to your mobile device. Pull out the end of the cable from the back of the remote controller. Put your mobile device into the mobile device holder with the port facing toward the right. Pull up the mobile device holder to secure the mobile device in place. Then connect the cable with the mobile device and the remote controller. Press the remote controller power button once, then again and hold to turn on the remote controller. In sequence, unfold the aircraft arms and the propellers, and remove the gimbal cover. Press the power button of the aircraft once, and then again and hold to turn on the aircraft. Search for DJI Fly in the App Store, then download and install the app. Please note that the aircraft and its accompanying remote controller are linked by default. Open the DJI Fly app and follow the instructions to activate the aircraft. If you have purchased or intend to purchase DJI Care Refresh, please finish the purchase and binding within 48 hours of activating the aircraft. It is recommended to fly for the first time in an open outdoor area, instead of indoors, as you have more space to safely operate while learning. Before taking off, set the remote controller to normal mode. Check that the propellers and the battery are securely in place. The gimbal cover is removed, and a micro SD card is inserted. Then put the aircraft on the ground with the rear facing the pilot. Launch the DJI Fly app and tap Go Fly. Go to Safety Settings. Set return to home altitude higher than any surrounding buildings or obstacles. When the app displays abnormal alerts, please follow the on-screen instructions in the app. Tap the takeoff icon on the left and press and hold the icon to enable auto takeoff. After taking off, the icon on the left becomes the icon for landing. Tap the landing icon on the left and press and hold the prompt icon to land automatically. Push both sticks down and inward. Once the motors begin spinning, release both sticks simultaneously. Push the left stick up to ascend manually. The left stick controls the aircraft's altitude and orientation. The right stick controls the aircraft's ability to move forward, backward, and to the left and right. After you start the motors, if the aircraft has not taken off, push the left stick down to stop the motors. If the aircraft has taken off, push the left stick down to land. If you release the sticks during flight, the aircraft will hover automatically. Press the flight pause or RTH button once on the remote controller to make the aircraft break. During the flight, please face the remote controller antennas towards the aircraft to get an optimal signal. The aircraft automatically changes to attitude, ATTI mode, when the vision system is unavailable or disabled, and when the GPS signal is weak or the compass experiences interference. In ATTI mode, the aircraft cannot hover or auto brake. In this case, please land in a safe location as soon as possible. Tap the photo button on the right and choose photo, video, quick shot, or pano. You can set camera parameters at the bottom right corner. 
You can also use the gimbal dial on the left of the remote controller to adjust gimbal tilt. Hit the shutter record button to start stop shooting or use the photo video toggle to switch between photo and video mode. In video mode, drag the zoom button in DJI Fly. Slide two fingers outwards on the screen or press and hold the customizable button in order to be able to use the gimbal dial to adjust the zoom in video mode. Tap the playback icon in the lower right corner to access the files on the aircraft and download at high speed. You can also view local files and aircraft files in the album on the home page. During flight, you can change flight modes via the flight mode switch on the remote controller. Normal mode. The aircraft utilizes GPS and the downward vision system to locate itself and stabilize. Intelligent flight modes are enabled in this mode. Tap the landing icon in the DJI Fly app or press and hold the RTH button on the remote controller to initiate Smart RTH. The aircraft will also perform Smart RTH or landing in the following situations. When the intelligent flight battery level is too low and has just enough battery power to return home, DJI Fly will ask the user whether to return to home. The aircraft will land automatically if the current battery level can only support the aircraft long enough to descend from its current altitude. Auto landing cannot be canceled but the remote controller can be used to alter the direction of the aircraft during the landing process. If the remote controller signal is lost, the failsafe RTH automatically activates. If you want to power off the aircraft and the remote controller, press and then press and hold the power button for two seconds. It is recommended to use a propeller holder when storing. DJI Mini 2 can connect directly to mobile devices via Wi-Fi, allowing users to download photos and video to their mobile device through DJI Fly without the need of a remote controller. Users can enjoy faster and more convenient downloads with a transmission rate of up to 20 megabytes per second. Power on the aircraft and wait until the self-diagnostic test of the aircraft is complete. Press and hold the Quick Transfer button for two seconds to switch to Quick Transfer mode. The front LED will slowly blink blue before pulsing blue once mode switching is successful. Make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on your mobile device, and a prompt will automatically appear to connect the aircraft. Tap Connect once successfully connected. Note that when connecting a mobile device to the aircraft for the first time, you need to press the Quick Transfer button to confirm. Make sure that the aircraft is connected to your mobile device via the remote controller and the motors have not started. Enable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on the mobile device. As you enter playback in the DJI Fly app on your mobile device, tap the quick transfer icon on the upper right corner to access the files on the aircraft and download at high speed. Enter the album, choose the video you want to download, and select Trimmed Download or you can download the entire video. Tap Trim Download and drag the progress bar to select the start and end points of the clip you need. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. In this video, you will learn how to use the following quick shots with DJI Mini 2. Droney, Rocket, Circle, Helix, Boomerang, Video Playback and Sharing. Note, before using quick shots, please make sure the aircraft is in normal mode. Set a proper flight distance and make sure the location is clear of buildings and other obstacles. If you are not familiar with this function, start with a shorter range. Take off and hover at least 2 meters above the ground and select Quick Shots in the DJI Fly app. Droney Tap Droney and set a max flight distance. Tap on the subject or drag a box around the subject and then tap Start. The aircraft will face the subject and fly backward as it ascends. Once recording is finished, the aircraft will fly back to its original position. Rocket Tap Rocket 
and set a max flight height. Tap on the subject or drag a box around the subject and tap start. The aircraft will ascend with the camera pointing downward. Once recording is finished, the aircraft will fly back to its original position. Circle. Tap circle and select a flight direction. Tap on the subject or drag a box around the subject and tap start. The aircraft will circle around the subject at the preset direction and a radius based on the current distance with the subject. Helix Tap helix and set a max radius and flight direction. Tap on the subject or drag a box around the subject and tap start. The aircraft will use the current distance to the subject as the radius and will ascend and fly in a spiral that expands gradually with the camera centered on the subject. Once recording is finished, the aircraft will fly back to its original position. Boomerang Select Boomerang, tap on or drag a box around the subject, and then tap Start. The aircraft will fly around the subject in an oval path. Whenever you want to exit a quick shot, tap the X icon on the right side of the screen, or press the Flight Pause RTH button on the remote controller. Then, the aircraft will exit the quick shot and hover in place. Do not move the control sticks while recording, otherwise the aircraft will immediately stop and exit the quick shot. Playback and Sharing Tap the playback icon after recording to view quick shot videos. Tap the icon at the bottom left and save the videos to your mobile device. Tap the button at the bottom right to switch between the original file and quick shot video. You can also tap the editing icon at the bottom right and edit the original file and QuickShot video based on your preferences. Tap the share icon in the upper right corner to share your creation instantly with friends. That's all for DJI Mini 2 QuickShots. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. To ensure the best flight experience possible, make sure you update your aircraft with the latest firmware. In this video, we will show you how to update the firmware. Make sure your drone's battery level is more than 40% and the battery level of the remote controller is above 20%. Power on the aircraft and the remote controller. Launch the DJI Fly app and ensure successful linking between the aircraft and the remote controller. When the remote controller is connected to the internet, the app will automatically check for available firmware updates for the aircraft and remote controller. When a firmware update notification appears, tap Update. During the update, do not power off or exit the app. It is normal for the remote controller or the aircraft to restart automatically during the update. Once the update is finished, the remote controller will remain powered on and the aircraft will turn off automatically. If the status indicator of the aircraft blinks yellow quickly when powered on, linking is required to control the aircraft with the remote controller. Linking the remote controller with the DJI Fly app. Power on the aircraft. Connect the mobile device with the remote controller and open up the DJI Fly app. Tap Connect Aircraft at the bottom right. Tap the Settings icon on the top right and select Control and Connect to the aircraft. When the remote controller beeps continuously with the battery LEDs blinking in sequence, it means the remote controller is ready to link. Press the aircraft power button and hold for approximately 4 seconds. The aircraft will beep once and the battery level LEDs will blink in sequence, indicating it is ready to link. The remote controller will then stop beeping and the LEDs on the aircraft and RC will also stop blinking. When the live camera view is displayed on the app, 
it means linking is successful. Linking the remote controller with combination buttons. You can also link the remote controller with combination buttons by simultaneously pressing the customizable button at the top left, the photo video button at the top right, and the shutter record button at the top. The remote controller will start to beep after two seconds. Press and hold the battery switch for approximately four seconds and release it once it begins to beep. The aircraft will start the linking process. When the remote controller stops beeping, the app will display the image transmission screen, indicating that the linking was successful. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. The 360 degree propeller guard helps ensure worry free flight, especially when flying for the first time or in narrow or complex spaces. How to attach the 360 degree propeller guard? Place the two pieces on a flat surface. The raised ends protect the front propellers. Unfold the aircraft arms. Tilt the aircraft and insert the front landing gear into the front end of the propeller guard. Keep the aircraft level and insert the rear arm into the rear end of the propeller guard. Lock the clips. You will hear a click when they are properly secured. Follow the same instructions to attach the other side of the 360 degree propeller guard. Detaching the 360 degree propeller guard. Unlock the clips on each arm. First, take the rear arms out. Then, tilt the aircraft and remove the front arms. The weight of Mavic Mini 2 with the 360 degree propeller guard attached will be more than 250 grams. Please always check your local laws and regulations carefully before flying. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. DJI Fly Editor. Enter the album and tap Create at the bottom right to use the editor in the DJI Fly app. Choose Templates or Advanced to edit your photos and videos. There are many templates on the right side of the Templates interface. To use, tap Apply. Import the required number of photos or video clips according to the icon in the upper right, and the app will automatically stitch them together to create a video with a real-time preview. Tap the small image at the bottom of the interface or drag the video to preview the selected clip. In Advanced mode, you can import one or more clips, which will be automatically arranged in chronological order. You can choose cut or rewind the video, or adjust the color, volume, and speed. You can also add other transitioning effects. After editing the clip, you can add filters and a soundtrack. You can trim the music or use the beat function to add rhythm points. And then cut the video and insert transition effects according to the beat. After editing, the video will be saved automatically to your mobile device. Tap the upper right corner to share your work on social media. Thanks for watching and enjoy your flight. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. DJI Mini 2 can connect directly to mobile devices via Wi-Fi, allowing users to download photos and videos to their mobile device through DJI Fly without the need of a remote controller. Users can enjoy faster and more convenient downloads with a transmission rate of up to 20 megabytes per second. Power on the aircraft and wait until the self-diagnostic test of the aircraft is complete. 
press and hold the quick transfer button for two seconds to switch to quick transfer mode. The front LED will slowly blink blue before pulsing blue once mode switching is successful. Make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on your mobile device, and a prompt will automatically appear to connect the aircraft. Tap Connect once successfully connected. Note that when connecting a mobile device to the aircraft for the first time, you need to press the Quick Transfer button to confirm. Make sure that the aircraft is connected to your mobile device via the remote controller and the motors have not started. Enable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on the mobile device. As you enter playback in the DJI Fly app on your mobile device, tap the Quick Transfer icon on the upper right corner to access the files on the aircraft and download at high speed. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching.